Welcome, welcome, vlog uh, something. Not sure what number it is, but hey, look, I'm not standing in my warehouse at my job. I am actually in the comfort of my apartment. It's Saturday afternoon. So, I want to get straight to the heart of the matter. We are less than two weeks away from the presidential selection. Yes, selection, not election. Uh, don't let anybody fool you that uh, things are um, legitimate in the land of American voter uh, policy um, because that's bullshit. We all know that. There's documented evidence. But with that being said and that being known, we are less than two weeks away from the uh, selection of the next American president puppet between Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. Coke versus Pepsi, Burger King versus McDonald's. Um, and granted, there are uh, plenty of other people who will make their, their way on that list. Gary Johnson, Rocky Anderson, Jill Stein, um, uh, Virgil Good, Roseanne Barr. Um, yeah, Roseanne Barr. Look that up if you didn't know that. So check that out. But, um, yeah, so here we are. We're less than two weeks away. And I'm going to give you my prediction, straight up prediction of what I think is going to go down on November 6th and why I think it's going to go down on November 6th. So I will say straight up right now, I predict in less than two weeks on November 6th, our next puppet in chief, liar and thief, will be Mitt Romney. You don't like Obama? No, of course I don't like Obama, and I don't like Mitt Romney either. But I think that there's a reason why Mitt Romney will be selected to be the next leader of this, uh, this country. So let me start off by saying that the number one reason is divide and conquer. Now, if you don't understand what divide and conquer is, please look it up, Wikipedia it, Google it, look up the definition of divide and conquer. Let me just say that it's in my whole life of being, having the cog cognizant thinking and the cognizant um, uh, you know, putting stuff stuff together and be able to, to understand what's going on. And really the first election I can really remember as a kid is the 1988 election between George Bush, Daddy Bush, and uh, Michael Dukakis. And that's honestly the only the, the one that I remember most, you know, as far as going back. But since that election, or I was seven years old, all the way to 2012, I have seen a continual um, effort by what I, what, what I consider the social engineers to create a competition, um, to, cr to create a fervor, to create polarization between the two major political parties. I have never seen hatred one group has for the other and the other group has for the other than I have in this political election. The comments I've seen people make about generalizations about Republicans, generalizations about Democrats. Well, the funny thing is, is that the both parties actually are very much similar in their policies, but everybody runs around thinking that there's some big, huge difference. And I don't want to say everybody, but everybody who who uh, believes in the, the belief that their party is the, the right party um, and that the other party is just a bunch of, of uh, you know, evil uh, heathens. Um, it's, 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 it's gotten to a point where the rhetoric between the two sides, the hatred, um, and not even based on policies, but just based on the fact that it's just another team. And that's what we've they've turned it into. So they've got two sides fighting with each other while they continue to screw us policy-wise. 
while both parties continue to do the same thing. And that's divide and conquer. The real owners of this country are not the people. Uh, the two parties are not really, there's no difference really. Um, but they've created this, this, this horse race, this, this, uh, this fake competition. It reminds me of high school. It's like, you know, homecoming queen and king. It's like the popularity contest. Seriously, there's no difference between the two parties policy-wise. They both support the wars. They both support the National Defense Authorization Act. They both support the drone strikes. They support the Federal Reserve System. I mean, come on. They both support the Patriot Act. There's no difference. So, with that being said, we know where both parties stand. We know where supporters of both parties stand. We know that Obama supporters are running around saying, he's giving me free cell phones. If you haven't seen that video, look it up. We know that people believe that Barack Obama is going to supply everybody with health care. So, in the wake of the 2008 election, we saw a lot of impoverished, low-income, mainly black communities go out and essentially celebrate for the fact a black person had become president. And gra granted, you know, yeah, it's it's great, you know, um, although I, I don't necessarily believe that the election was won, you know, legitimately. I mean, there can be ele elements of, of voter fraud no matter what to swing it on what other, you know, either side of the of the coin against Barack Obama for John McCain, against John McCain, against Barack Obama for Barack Obama. But the African-American community went out and they celebrated. What do you think is going to happen? And I'm not being racist when I say this, but what do you think is going to happen and I'll tell you why I'm not racist when I say this, if Mitt Romney gets out. Well, if they went out in the streets and celebrated, what are they going to do if Barack Obama loses? Once again, the white man wins. So, and the black, the, the low-income, the impoverished people, no matter what color, believe they're entitled to free health care, believe they're entitled to certain um, entitlements, and... Uh, for, for being impoverished, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to go out and riot. And people have commented on Twitter and social media networks that, you know, if Mitt Romney wins, uh, he's going to take away our health care that Obama promised us. We're going to riot. We're taken to the streets. There have been people who said that if Barack Obama loses, that they're going to assassinate Mitt Romney. I mean, there are people who are actually saying this on Twitter and social networking sites like Facebook. So, I think in the wake of, of, a, of a Mitt Romney win, I think there will be race, well, not necessarily race riots, but I think it will definitely come out of the black community as being angry, the fact that it's just not, it's another white man winning, white rich Republican, in which they are all indoctrinated to believe in the public school system, believe me, I'm white and I heard it. Um, and I think they're going to take to the streets. And I think they're going to say, we're upset. And it's going to further... And I think it's going to be partially racial. Um, and I think it's going to further harm race relations, which once, once again, divide and conquer. Keep people focused on race while the owners of the country continue to screw everybody. And I think that it's going, a Mitt Romney wins just going to further the, the divide and conquer tactics that the social engineers have been using for years. And they're ramp, they continue to ramp it up. And they want insta, you know, instability. They want fighting. Because that will give them more of a reason to lot, lamp, you know, latch down with a police state. They want social unrest so they can pass the legislation to lock down more on our freedoms and our liberties. So that's where I see November 6th going. Mitt Romney becomes president. 
poor communities will up will 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 riot and you will never ever ever see this country so divided as you will after this election now either it'll go well we need to put another democrat and they just keep going back and forth back and forth or there's going to be some real revolution people might wake up to saying hey there's no difference fingers crossed uh, there might be a new political revolution who knows but i know that the effort to divide and conquer is well underway and it works in their best benefit and if the social engineers have their way if the rulers and the real people who run this country behind the scenes, the corporate and banking interests, the global corporate and banking interests have their way. It will definitely be, definitely be to their best interest to once again create instability, divide and conquer, have everybody in fight while they continue to pass more legislation against the Constitution to pass more legislation that further destroys the American, the U.S. dollar. And maybe another war, maybe an expansion of a war, drone strikes in other nations. We'll see. So that's my prediction. We'll see if I'm right. God willing, we're not. God willing, a third-party candidate will win, but that's not likely. And as far as the third party candidates I'm not happy with them and maybe I'll do a video on that too because there was a debate the other night you probably didn't hear about so take care adios we'll see you later bye